Afternoon baseball now from the home of the Reds since 2003. Great American ballpark. Time for game two of the regular season. Anthony DiSclefani is on the mound for the Reds in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, DiSclefani, a big, tall, strapping guy. Not an overpowering guy. 93 to 95 miles an hour. Big sweeping breaking ball and the straight changeup. When he's on, you'll know for a guy like this, he gets a lot of swings and misses. If he's on, a lot of strikeouts early on in the game. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, are coming off a good victory here in front of the home faithful on opening day. Yeah, Matty, I know it's a long season, but they were able to win the opener, and nothing would be sweeter if you could get in your car today and drive home 2-0. This is a big game. This is a nice little momentum either way. Another win here, and they're going to be feeling great about where they're at. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. We all know he's just a great baseball player. He's one of the elite players in the game, and it's always a privilege to see him do his thing. Hopefully he does just that in this one. So it was a swinging strike three. Adam Eaton goes down for out number two in the top half. 0-1 oh, the count to Bryce Harper. And right into the shift. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 oh, now. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Line toward the gap in left center. Duvall is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington. And now the Reds will get their first opportunity. No score. Steven Strasburg, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Popped him up. Rendon moving to his left, makes the play one away. For the moment here in Cincy, let's take a glance at the Reds' starting lineup in this one. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matt, I think the cleanup hitter might be the difference in this game. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. Now in the box, Tony Perez. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first from the stretch and he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right Harper looks up gone a solo shot here to straight away right field first home run of the campaign for him as the red strike first it's one to nothing well they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball but it didn't matter He's their big dog for a reason, so we waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Stepping in now, Johnny Bench. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Fellas, the Nationals, as they take the field here today, they started the season out on the wrong foot, dropping one on the road on opening day. Yeah, Maddie, they need to grab this one today. You don't want to drop the first two games of the season. I don't care if it's on the road. I know you're going to have to battle play well at home. You can't afford to get on the team bus back to the hotel. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. Into the box now. Barry Larkin. And boy, even a pitch out can't slow him down. He's in there at second base. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there, right? Didn't make a difference, though. He got a great. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Bench at third with two away. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. 
Hey, d -Row, they're off to a nice 2 nothing lead right here. Now I think it's time to keep the pressure on and try to add on. Yeah, this guy's a quality pitcher, and you know at any moment he gets into a rhythm, he can rattle off some donuts up there. So this is a nice job by the offense, but not done yet. Standing in now, Adam Duvall. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And a wide throw here as it skips into center field. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Ball and a strike. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg, he's just one for six. The 1 1 home. Hit to third. Fielded by Rendon. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. The sights and sounds of a day. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Ryan Zimmerman will get us started in the top of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. If you know you've got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here attacking the zone 0-0 and getting ahead. High pop-up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Time for a look at the Cincinnati Reds on D. And let's take a look at third baseman Eugenio Suarez, one of the more underrated players in our sport. Big time power from the right side. Ability to crush a hanging breaking ball. Also soft hands at the hot corner. Very reactionary down there and a strong arm. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Now the 0-2 pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Hit in the air out to center field. Griffey waits on it. Two gone. Batting deck. Third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Behind 0-2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Morgan is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Nationals gone in order. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Stepping into the box, Eugenio Suarez set to lead off the home Third half of the one. second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Time for a look at the curly W on D. Let's spot shadow Bryce Harper and why wouldn't he? He's only one of the best players in the game. He puts it on the line every night in the field and at the plate. 
Now at the plate, Scooter Jeanette, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. He settles under it and makes the catch in the deepest confine of the ballpark. Boy, sometimes they say you hit it hard, good things will happen. Well, that's not the case right there. That was a bullet that just stayed up and it's caught in the outfield. In now, Anthony DiSclafani. And Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. Mine to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Boy, dear, were you talking about frustrating as a pitcher? You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you could waste that out, flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that by getting a knock. Now we could have some issues here. First offering on its way. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Strasburg comes set. Here he comes 0 and 1. Smoked on the ground up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Hey, after back to back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. Stepping in now, Joe Morgan. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Herter fields it cleanly, and they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Digging in, Tony Perez. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. This is line to left. That's in there, base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score. It's now a 4 nothing game. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far. D. Rowe, home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day, hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. And both runners are safe. The double steal executed perfectly. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Back up the middle. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one. The view of Cincinnati from the Brent Spence Bridge. Thanks for joining us once again on the show. At the plate, Michael Taylor. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting eight. The catcher, number Montero two. waits. Now the pitch. Montero. Missed with a slider. Hey. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Duvall is in pursuit. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that one right down Main Street. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. Outside for a ball, one and one. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting.
Into the box now. Barry Larkin looking to follow up the RBI single from his first half bat. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offense. That's a nice piece of hit. Maybe not what he was looking for, but the result was there. First offering on its way. He's running. Pitch is in the dirt and knocked down, and he'll make it into second easily with a stolen base. The 1-0. Runner breaks for third. That's a strike to throw down. He is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Swing and a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now batting third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. At the plate, Eugenio Suarez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard to third. One there. On to first, a double play. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result. A double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And it's gone as they add still another. Solo shot to right center. First home run of the campaign for him. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Wow, another long ball in the early going of this one. The second one he's allowed in just two and two-thirds innings. Might want to warm up those showers. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball in the yard. Now batting, the pitcher, Anthony DiSclafani. Into the box now, Anthony DiSclafani. And Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Strasburg comes set. Here's the 0-1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt. Some people like to crow about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. Reds lead this one six to nothing. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and starting out the inning, the exciting speedster Trey Turner. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. No one can make a play, and the first Nationals hit is going to be extra bases. And he will make it there safely as he fires off the fourth with a leadoff triple. 
in now is Adam Eaton. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 0 and 1 the count. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Snap throw to first. Turner, the runner at third with no outs. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And now Bryce Harper. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. Fouled off. Here's another 0-2. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. He's set. Here it comes. There's a strike. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Hit out towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. And he will beat the throw safe at the plate, and they're on the board. It's a 6-1 to one game now. The batter, second baseman. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh and, and that one just missed outside. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2-2. Two and two. Hey, I appreciate it. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Ready for another shot now. Joe Morgan to start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. Morgan. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A shot to second base and handled for the first down. Now batting. First baseman, Tony Perez. Into the box, Tony Perez hit hard on the ground to short. Turner has it. On to first, and Strasburg's in control here, two away. Now batting, catcher, Johnny Ben. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Johnny Bench, a hit in two tries so far. He's set, and the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Six runs, 11 hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Popped him up. Turner over to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Reds are down in order. They lead it 6-1. to one. In now is Anthony Rendon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Soft liner to the right side. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now at the plate, Michael Taylor. Michael Here's the first Taylor. pitch to him. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hit back up the middle. Picked up by Larkin. In time to first, and there are two away. The catcher, number 14, Miguel Montero. So bases are empty here with two gone. And stepping in now is the catcher, Miguel Montero. Here comes the first pitch. 
Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Hey, he's close to having another quick inning right there with two quick outs. He's been very economical with his pitches, and if he continues to go like this, the bullpen might get a day off. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is... Now at the plate, Barry Larkin. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Gary Larkin. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line drive to center field. Eaton is there and he has it for the first out. The left Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. In now, Adam Duvall. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. It's really hard to match up this poor performance when you dive into the numbers. This guy's thrown over 80% of his first pitches for strikes, but he's going to need to have to clean his stuff up a little bit better and get the ball down in the strike zone. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Softly hit to the left side. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. And it looks like we're going to see time called here as he looked to come up a bit gingerly after he hit the first base bag. But from all indications, it looks like it won't be enough to take him out of the ballgame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Strike taken, the throw. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a little tapper. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Six runs, double the amount of hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. On the move is Taylor. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. In now, Scooter Jeanette. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Hit in the air to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Howie Kendrick will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number 12, Howie Kendrick. towards second throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth the batter number seven shortstop Trey Turner ready now Trey Turner he's one for two in this one First pitch of the at bat on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Hey, he's rolling so far in this one as we head in the middle part of this game. How about 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes? If he continues to do that, he just might finish this one. Center fielder, number two, Adam Eaton. In now is Adam Eaton. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence, his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Going to be a tough play. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. They trail six to one. Sammy Solis enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. 
Next to hit will be the pitcher, Anthony DiSclafani. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Here comes the first pitch. And a half hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. For the most part, he's looked really locked in at the plate in this game. Not so much on that swing, though. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. The center fielder number 24, Ken Griffey Jr. So striding in, Ken Griffey Jr. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. That smoked, but right into the ship. On to first, and there were two down. The right fielder, number eight, Joe Morgan. Now with the plate, Joe Morgan. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is sent high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. As a fellow once said, the only park that that ball wouldn't have made it out of is Yellowstone. Everyone knows he's got plenty of thump in his bat, but come on. I'm not sure that ball has even come down yet. Standing in now, Tony Perez. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's two for three and looking for more here. Swing, and this is also hit well. Out to deep center. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second home run of the game, and this is now a seven-run ball game. The long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Matty V, Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. Yeah, you're watching this pitcher. He's just not executing on both sides. They're missing over the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. In the hitters meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys could miss middle, and that's exactly what's happening. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by, no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over. Pitch outside the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. The 1-0. Softly hit out towards short. And this will be pulled in easily for the final out of the inning. Here's Bryce Harper now. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. There to get it is Junior, and that's the first out. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. First pitch of the at-bat. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Throw on to first, takes care of Zimmerman for the second out of the inning. Hit hard down the line. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time, but foul. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Coming to the plate now, Adam Duvall. So far, two for three in this one. 
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hard liner to center field. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first out. Absolutely jumped all over that fastball, and it might have been a home run if he had any elevation under it, but it was basically right at the outfield. Into the box now, Eugenio Suarez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. A swing and a shot hit down the corner and it's a foul ball. Fly ball right down the line and left. Taylor is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second the batter, out. Number three, second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. First pitch coming, here it is. Drilled right back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Definitely coming out of his shoes, aggressive style. First pitch, base hit up the middle. Ready for another chance? Anthony DiSclafani. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. No balls in one strike. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And it's gone. Into the box, Ken Griffey Jr. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The wind-up and the 0-1. And it's fouled away. Dribbled to the right side. But it gets fouled. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Still one and two as he fouls it away. The one two he swung on and missed strike three. In now is Anthony Rendon. We're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business Matt. He's looked really sharp and it's hard to know if it's had any effect but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Morgan moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for that number one. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. On its way is pitch number 75. Fouled away. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Here's the catcher now, Miguel Montero. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Hit out towards second. Played on the backhand. 
He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Nationals gone. Digging in, Joe Morgan, and he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. Right fielder, Joe Here's the first pitch to him. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he will make the catch here on the edge of the warning track as he was just now able to get back there and put it away for the first down. Stepping in, Tony Perez. He went deep last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. A ball and two strikes to Perez. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hit sharply on the ground. Get a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Matt Adams is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth. And with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. No balls and a strike to count. Swing and a liner. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. This one's down to third. On to first, and now the Nationals are down to their final out here. Standing in, Adam Eaton. 0 for three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. He makes the catch, and the Reds have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Ten to one, the final lopsided.